Reverend, Reverend Teresia Werimo, coming in with Reverend Kathy Kuna, together with the children. Vanessa is right there. Uh, Jeremy is right there, their granddaughter, and other spiritual leaders, pastors that are accompanying them in with the family, immediate and extended. Let us all be upstanding to receive our guests. And if you haven't made your way here, please, we ask that you start to do that right now. Start to do that right now as our time is now. We are ready to start. We are ready to begin, but would not like you to miss anything. So just come in because we still have some little time even as we continue with the agenda of the day. But we'd like to remind you that Bishop is a man that has made impact globally. Bishop has left a footprint. Bishop has left a mark in many hearts. Many might not call themselves sons and daughters directly, but Bishop has impacted a lot of us in one way or another. This is a man who has broken the ceiling from many, many lives. He has broken limitations. And so as we enter into his labors, his labors of love, we are here to celebrate and say thank you, Bishop, for laying your life for the sake of many generations to come. Now, here they come. They are being welcomed in. That's we see senior mother together with uh, Reverend Kathy Kuna just coming in right now. And they are taking their seats. They are taking their seats. We'd like us to all be upstanding as we receive them and celebrate the man of God, Bishop Alan Kuna. We can see them there. Uh, people are exchanging their felicitations. Uh, there's a bit of, uh, you know, just loving on one another. There's a hug there and a handshake there. And uh, people are just loving on mama. We can, see, we can see them just loving on her. We need to love on our mama, Reverend Kathy Kuna. We love you, mama. We appreciate that you have been such a pillar of strength to Bishop Alan Kuna. You have done a wonderful job, mama. And we just want to appreciate you. We want you to know that we love you, Mama, and that we are praying for you. Many of us have taken it as a personal burden to stand with you in prayer. So, Mama, please be encouraged today to know that there is an army in the body of Christ that is standing with you in prayer. You might not know them, but they are there. And we can see that the horse, the horse is standing right outside the tent, and they are ready to just uh, bring out the casket. They are ready to bring out the casket. They are ready to bring out the mortal body of our father, Bishop Alan Kuner. They're getting ready to do that right now. And we'll remain standing. We'll remain standing even as we prepare for this grand entrance of our father, of our father in the faith. Hallelujah. Of us to meet in this place just to give God thanks. That he we gave want us. to also appreciate all the international guests that have come in. There are many of you, we might not even recognize some of you, but we know that there are many people that have streamed in from many nations. We appreciate all of you, prophetesses, apostles, prophets. We appreciate all of you, families, the people that have come from afar, United Kingdom, USA, Every place that you have come from, feel welcomed into this house today. This is JCC Paradise that is located in Tindigua. That's the body that is being removed from the house right now. That's the body that is being removed from the house, the mortal body. We know that his spirit is with the Lord, but the body is still with us here. And they are preparing to receive him. We see his sons have gathered. We see men of God have gathered around the house just to receive the body of our father, Bishop Alan Kuner. They're getting ready to bring it out. And I can tell you that this is one of those moments where we just speak grace, grace, grace. Let the grace of God multiply because it's quite difficult, but the grace is sufficient. Yes, there we go. We see them bring the body out of the hearse. They're bringing the body out of the hearse. Thank you. And so in a few minutes, the body will be with us in the main auditorium. Uh, there we go. We see the pallbearers, the pallbearers, the different men of God and the family. 
Robert is leading. Robert, the son-in-law, is right ahead uh, leading the pallbearers as they bring in the body. Please remain upstanding. Please remain upstanding as they bring in the body into the main auditorium. You see Robert Kovach, Robert Kovach together with other pale bearers. You see Pastor Morris, Pastor Morris is right there walking beside Robert. They are coming in right now. Yes, so, uh, okay. Yeah, take note, take note that the body is now about to enter the auditorium, the mortal body of Bishop Alan Kuhner. We are going to pay our last respects in this place as we celebrate the great work that this man of God has done. The man the has fought the good fight, he has run and finished you, his race. And I'll I say that he you. has finished. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. All right. We have the casket coming in. What a general God gave us. What a man of God. We truly are so grateful to God for giving us our Father. Would you lift up your hands right now and just begin to thank God for his great comfort and grace everywhere. Can we just begin to worship God this morning? Can we begin to worship God? Can we begin to worship him? Lift up your voice and talk to God this morning. Lift up your voice and talk to him. Talk to the one that says with great peace he will give you. Talk to him. Lift up our voice as we begin our service today with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, congregation, lift up your voice. Let us honor God. Let us honor God for this great day that he has given us. Let us honor God. Let us honor God. Lift up your voice everywhere and let us thank God this morning for giving us such a, an opportunity to congregate and with great strength he is giving you today he is our help today he is our comfort today raise your voices raise your voices and let us give god thanks let us give god thanks for his peace that prevails let us give god thanks for his strength that prevails let us give god thanks for his blessings that prevail let us give god thanks in the mighty name of jesus father we give you thanks for this morning father we give you thanks for this morning Father, we give you thanks for this morning. 
for great thanks, strength you release in this house. Father, we thank you today as we come to celebrate our bishop. We thank you that you're strengthening everyone that is watching us online and those that are present in this hall, uh, auditorium today. We worship you, Father, and we give you glory. We uphold you today and we ask uh, that you that is the lifter of men, you will lift every man and every soul today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we worship you today. We worship you today. Come on, lift up your voice and just thank him. Just thank him as we begin this service today. Let us thank him. Let us thank him for the great things he has done for us. Let us thank him. Let us thank him for the great blessings he has released to us. Let us thank him. Let us thank him for the journey that he has taken us through this far. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you for great peace you have given us, oh God, we thank you. Oh, we thank you for you do not give us the peace as the world would, oh God. We thank you for your peace that prevails today. We thank you for your peace that prevails today. We thank you for the strength that prevails today. We give you glory, we give you honor. We give you glory, we give you honor in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your strength that is being manifested in the lives of every one of us today. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name today. Blessed be your name forever. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you glory. We give you honor in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Joshua chapter number 1 and verse number 9, the Bible says, Hereby I command you, be strong and be courageous and do not be frightened or be dismayed. And I speak to this congregation today that we are strong and we are courageous. We are not frightened or dismayed. For the Lord, our God, is with us today. The Lord our God is in the midst of every one of us. We want to just refuse every kind of uh, uh, discouragement or any kind of grief that the enemy would want to 